This video explores the implementation of color removal and shadow tolerance for working with dark backgrounds. As always, we start by selecting the correct profile and then load our job. For best results, we recommend either vector formats such as PDF or EPS or formats with a prepared alpha channel that properly defines the white areas such as Photoshop or PNG. Begin by clicking on the page preview to start processing. In this example, with a dark background, one might consider using the Remove Color function as a way of eliminating the background. This image does not have a clear edge between the main content and the background color, which results in rough edges and extensive removal of content. We can reset the color removal value by just clicking on a white area. The first thing to do is to apply the appropriate amount of white channel to ensure the full range of color will be supported in the final transfer. In this case, we recommend 200%. Select screening as configured as a mask for dark media. Now we will demonstrate how the shadow tolerance function can be used to blend dark background colors into the garment color. Low values hold the background colors, such as when using light colored garments. As you see in this preview, the masking feature is supporting all of the background shades. Now we will use a much higher value for shadow tolerance to substantially blend out the background while maintaining the detail. Here you can see how the background is faded to virtually nothing while the rest of the image has all of the needed detail. 